First check out all the accessories from the box. The package contains Slicky Dash Camera, 1080 Rear Camera, Power Supply Cable with Car Charger, USB Type-C Cable, 3M Mount, Electrostatic Sticker, User Instruction and Other Accessories. Check out the 64GB Memory Card. Insert the memory card into the dash camera according to the instructions. Tear off the protective film and screen protector on the dash camera before use. Take out electrostatic sticker. Tear off the electrostatic sticker. Stick it where you need to install the dash camera. Take out the 3M mount. Install the 3M mount on the dash camera. Just align the holes and pull to the right. Remove the 3M mount by pushing it to the left. Turn off one side of the 3M mount and paste it to the electrostatic sticker. Connect the Type-C end of the cigarette lighter to the dash camera. The screen lights up and the image appears on the screen. Take out rear camera. Remove the protective film from the camera before use. Remove the 3M sticker from the camera. Install it on the rear windshield according to the angle you need. The angle of the camera can be adjusted flexibly. Pictures on both channels. Search Wikim app on Apple Store or Google Play. Download and install Wikim app. Run Wikim app. Click on the wall while using app. Click on WLAN cellular. Click on OK and the wall. Click on connect device. Click on OK. Press and hold the up button on the dash camera to turn on Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi icon at the top of the screen turns green. Cell phone connected to the same WF name as on the dash camera. And enter the password. Follow the prompts on the dash camera. After a successful connection, switch to the Wikim app. Click the map thumbnail icon to enlarge the GPS screen. Click the recording icon to enter the recording function. Blinking red dot indicates recording. Click the video icon again to close the recording and save the recorded video. Click on the settings icon in the upper right corner to enter the settings interface. You can set the appropriate functions, such as photo resolution, loop recording duration, TC. Click the back icon to return to the previous screen. A blinking dot on the screen indicates that a video is being recorded. The GPS icon is green to indicate a successful positioning. When there is no positioning, the icon is white and blinking. 
Press OK key to turn off the video recording function. You can't enter the menu interface in the video recording state. Press the N key to enter the menu mode. Press the OK key to enter the resolution. Press the up and down keys to select the resolution you need and press OK to confirm. Press the up and down keys to switch to the loop recording. Press the OK key to confirm. Press the up and down keys to select recording duration. Press OK to confirm. Press the up and down keys to switch to the exposure. Press the OK key to confirm. You can adjust the value of exposure. Enter the WDR icon to turn on or off the WDR function. Enter the screen saver icon to set the screen save duration. Press the M key to return to the menu interface. Enter the parking guard icon to view motion detection, time-lapse video, impact detection. To use this function, you need to connect the hardware kit first. Enter the G sensor icon to adjust sensitivity. Enter the audio record icon to turn audio record on or off. Enter the keypad sound icon to turn keypad sound on or off. Enter the language icon to select the language you need. Enter the time icon to set date and time. Enter the Wi-Fi icon to turn the Wi-Fi function on or off. Enter the frequency icon to select the frequency you need. Enter the mirror rear image icon to turn on off the rear camera mirror. Enter the 2.4 G Y G icon to choose to use 2.4 G or Hui G. Enter the speed icon to select the speed unit to use. Enter the daylight saving icon to turn on off the daylight save function. Enter the GPS icon to turn GPS on or off. Enter the time zone icon to select your desired time zone. Enter the format icon to format the SD card. When you insert a new SD card, please format the SD card first. Enter the default setting icon to restore factory settings. Enter the version icon to view version information.